Hey, Emma, did we find a few Legos? Yes! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where was it? Where was it? Yes, we did. What's up, YouTube? I'm in the van with... Emma! And where are we headed today? The trash store. The trash store. We're going to the Goodwill thrift store. And what do you think you're going to find? Legos. You're going to look for Legos? Especially those rubbery pieces so I can build Lego conveyor belts. Some, Lego, some rubbery pieces so you can build Lego conveyor belts? I think yeah. that's a good goal. Yeah, so maybe we'll find some... We'll try to find some Legos. I don't know. We'll have to see. On a Saturday, it might be tough to find something good like Legos. And I also want to find money. Money? You're not going to find money at the Goodwill store. Um, I think, I'm hoping I find something tech deck or skateboarding related. Do you think I'll be able to do that? I don't know. And then maybe find the usual, like some, some golf balls, some ping pong balls, some, uh, stuff to use around the garage. Some golf clubs. Golf clubs? Maybe I have gotten some golf clubs there, so we'll have to see. Anyway, uh... we'll see you in a few minutes. So we've been here for like five minutes, and what did you find already? An awesome Lego motor, or tricycle. Mm -hmm. Tricycle. Cool. And we found a Lego man and a couple flags. Yeah. Cool Lego, robot Lego man. Cyborg Lego man. That's cool. And some flags. Awesome. Good job. Give me a high five. Uh-huh. Hey, right, Buso, how was that? Good. Good? Was that, like, the most epic trip ever to that Goodwill trash store? Yeah! That was amazing. Yeah! Did we find everything we were looking for? Yep, yep, yep! Yes, we did. We found a ton of Legos at the trash store today. That was amazing. For my army. I have never gotten this many Legos at the trash store. This was unbelievable. So how many many figures did you say we got? We got 46 many figures. 46 many figures. That is crazy. You know, look at all this. Wait a second, that's not all of them. I know. I'm just going through looking at some of this stuff. Pile of loose bricks. Pile all of kinds weapons. of stuff. Can you open up the uh the hatch? Show them what's in the hatch. All the money. I have mine. You got all the weapons. You got a gate and all kinds of vehicles. The jail. Uh, yeah, the jail. And, and, and build a super cool like temple castle looking thing here. All random pieces. All that from the trash store. Amazing. Alright, so we've moved the Legos out of the way temporarily to show you all the other stuff we got, with the exception of you're holding your red rubber piece that you wanted so bad that you even said beforehand you wanted a I'm conveyor an, belt piece. I'm an angel. <laughs> you're an angel sometimes. <laughs> now mm -hmm. Eddie's an That's angel. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we found that along with all the Legos, but let's show you some of this some of this other stuff we got here. Let's, what do we start with? We'll start with should be a mainstay on my channel, of course. I bought three ping pong paddles and a couple ping pong balls, which is appropriate because I said I was gonna look for that, didn't I? Um, did they work? I think they work. You wanna try it out? Yeah. That one went way over to my spot. Yeah. Yep, they work. What else did I say that I wanted to look for? You remember? Fingerboards! Fingerboards. Specifically said tech decks. We didn't quite find tech decks, but we did find a couple fingerboards. These were ones, I think, from uh, McDonald's or Burger King. Yep, McDonald's. And we got... I'm gonna try. Look, he's trying to skate. So we did find a few fingerboards. Yeah, look, he's trying to skateboard. I think that's too small for you. I think so. You picked up this awesome Harry Potter 
and Prisoner of Azkaban, 10. Mm-hmm. And what's That's going it? in my room. Yep, and what's it got on it? A clown. Bobby a clown? Wait, so is that is that a real clown? No! It's oh. actually a jack in, it's actually a giant jack in the box, which is a bogger. It's a bogger, yep. So what do you say to make it go away? Gone. <laughs> yep, here's a bunch of stuff that I've gotten that uh, I plan to sell on eBay. Um, so we've got some of the Monopoly cards from the uh, Electronic Banking Monopoly. We've got the, the dice from it. Um, and also have a number of the metal tokens from a couple different Monopoly games. Um, those are usually pretty look, easy to sell. Look, my fingers are nude! <laughs> For movers or tokens from Candyland. Then we've got these My Little Pony uh, token or movers from the My Little Pony version of Candyland or Shoots or Ladders or something. Um, so we've got that. Then I've got the a full set of movers from Sorry, which people will actually pay a decent amount for all the movers from Sorry, since it's a full set, four of each. But you get to take this 10 and put that up in your room. And you can put something secret in it and put some Harry Potter stuff in it. So do you remember what else I asked for that I thought I would usually Golf find? stuff! Golf stuff. So what have I got here? So we've got, this is uh, one of the better finds you can get there. So this is actually a Pro V1. Uh, still in good shape, just needs to be washed off a little bit. Um, then we've got one of the <laughs> Callaway practice balls, a little squishy soft balls that uh, you can practice with. Those are fun. This was probably the coolest thing. So this is a little pouch, a little Callaway pouch from the PGA Championship in 2013 at Oak Hill Country Club. Um, and this actually has a baggie that has Callaway uh, tees, ball marker, and divot tool in it. And it has six of these really nice PGA Championship Oak Hill Country Club balls that are actually Callaway Warbird balls, also with the uh, the national logo on it. <laughs> yeah. We got a little squishy, bouncy let's keep, basketball. Let's keep that for me. Uh -huh, super enchanting, yeah, we'll keep it for you. But I'm gonna see super how squishy, we... and it bounces. I make it try! <laughs> oh, it fell down. I did it! I got some hooks. Sometimes you just find useful household stuff there. Then got this. I uh, don't know if this will end up on eBay or just in the garage for using for something, but it's a it's a U-band power band, so it's like a resistance band that you use for pull-ups and stuff like that. Um, you, you can find these on Amazon and eBay, um, but you might be able to sell it for a couple dollars or it might just be some useful rubber banding to use out in the garage. An over-the-hill candle. Do you know anyone that's going to be 40 next year? Mommy! Yeah. So do you think maybe we'll put this on our cake? Yeah. I think so. And then this is another example of just random stuff that we found. So this is a, a lapel pin from celebrating 100 years of powered flight. What happened in 1903 in Kitty Hawk? Um, the White Brothers. Exactly right. Very good. The last three things we got here are books. So this one is a nice I Spy book, a super challenger. Something for Emma to upgrade from her current look and finds that you have. This has some cool images where you gotta look for the stuff and it's kind of written like riddles where you have to find some of the stuff by riddle. So that's got some cool stuff in it. Yeah, and nice it was actually find. pictures. Yeah, they're actual photographs instead of just like animated pictures, which is cool. Um, and the nice part about buying books at the trash store are hardback books like this are 50 cents and paperback books are 25 cents. So I got a big paperback book. This is called Cave of the Winds. It was produced by NASA um, and, and it talks about the history of the, the Langley full-scale tunnel. And I actually had the privilege to take a tour of that tunnel before they uh, knocked it down. Um, so this is kind of interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward to looking through this. Uh, the book's in a little bit rough shape, but for 25 cents, uh, you can't beat that. And lastly, ooh, we have this 
Awesome looking book with the, the gold dragon on the front. It's the gold Mushu or Norbert. It's a gold Mushu or Norbert. That's right. You sure know you're not Chinese history. Uh, it's got some really nice uh, imagery in it. That book smells good. But, and actually if I can find it, page, I think it was page 283. 283, is it 283? It is 283. Gets ping pong. Two guys playing ping pong. See? A little makeshift table playing ping pong right there but i have a special plan for this book look for this in an upcoming project if i ever get around to it but i've got a cool idea for this book all right so is that everything yes! but what do you what do you think the people might want to know about all this stuff that we got um how much it costs exactly they want to know how much it costs so here's our receipt and the way this place works is they weigh everything you get and then they have a price that you pay per pound. So in this case, these all, all these things count as housewares. So we had 7.57 pounds of housewares at 59 cents per pound for a grand total of all that and the books for a grand total of $6. So all of these Legos, the books, all of the toys, all the pieces, all the golf stuff, everything. And in the 10, uh, everything all together, including a 20 cent donation, was $6. Now, I don't know if you know the value of Legos, but given the fact that we got like 46 minifigures and all these pieces we got, I would say all of these Legos separately, easily $100 worth, mm -hmm. maybe even more. That was definitely one of the most epic trips we've ever had to the trash store. All right, well, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have a Goodwill outlet uh, retail center in your area, you should go check it out. Uh, you never know what you'll find in the bins. So here's everything. Six dollars. Good deal, huh? Okay. All right, thanks for watching. See ya. See ya. Don't videotape my finger. This one? Yeah! What about this one? Yes! I'm tickling you. I'm tickling you. I can pinch your nose.